Hello, and welcome to my new mini-series, What Paladins Doesn't Teach You. In this series, we are going to be walking through some mechanics, features, and concepts in Paladins that Paladins doesn't do a great job of teaching the player. We'll talk about what these are, why they matter, and how high res could do better in presenting these concepts to new players. These will be ranging pretty widely from things like wall jumps, to some commands that can be input in the main menu, up to some macro game concepts like map control and choke points. I hope you enjoy, and as always, I hope you learn something. For episode one of What Paladins Doesn't Teach You, we're going to be jumping into something that is very important to know about for Paladins that is not mentioned at all in the tutorial. Today, we are going to be talking about Overtime. Overtime is a mechanic that kicks in in two situations. A team is pushing or contesting the payload when their push time runs out, or the objective has been touched by an enemy within 5 seconds before the final tick from 99 to 100 where the objective would be captured. Let's talk about the payload overtime first because that's the most simple. The push phase has a timer. When that timer runs out, exactly when it ticks to zero, if no attackers are on the payload, the push fails. If an attacker is on the payload, as it ticks to zero, it procs overtime. Overtime lasts for 6 seconds, which decays down the longer the OT progresses. As long as an attacker steps on the payload within those 6 seconds, the time is refilled. Overtime cannot tick out while an attacker is on the payload, but on extended pushes, it can get down to a fraction of a second to where a single misstep or a single boop can end your push. Now, let's talk about the objective overtime, which is much more complex. Overtime procs on the objective if a member of the enemy team has touched the objective within 5 seconds of the final tick from 99 to 100. Now, you might remember, overtime lasts 6 seconds. This means there is a tech to manipulating overtime, a very high-risk, high-reward strategy where you intentionally step off the objective for 5 seconds before stepping back on for that final tick. This is risky because if you mistime it and proc the overtime anyway, you've wasted all that time where you were off point. But if it's done right, that one second can make the difference between winning or losing the game. So what are some practical applications of these numbers? For one, the magic number to touch the point for overtime is 87%. If you get your touch at 87%, you will get an overtime. Counting out 5 seconds during an intense match is difficult, but if you can pull it off, denying overtime by stepping off can also be very strong. Also, you can capture the objective in the same way. Say, you got up to 99% and then you got pushed back. If the enemy team doesn't touch the objective for 5 seconds and you manage to get a touch, you can capture the point immediately. Now, this is a lot and it gets pretty technical with the numbers. So how can hi present this better? Well, for one, include overtime in the tutorial at all. It's literally impossible to proc overtime in the tutorial because the enemy's andro will spawn in at around 40% and won't capture the objective. An improved tutorial could also somewhat address overtime or simply link out to a video that explains it similar to this. So that's overtime. I hope this was enjoyable and educational and I hope that it can help you make a difference in your games. This series will be coming out weekly with videos every Saturday morning, so get subscribed to catch more. I have a ton of other topics that I'm very excited to get into, possibly with some guests on the line. Also, hop into my Discord with the link below. I stream on Paladin's Game and on my personal channel, and I post in there whenever I'm going live. I'd love to see you come and hang out. I hope you all enjoyed, and as always, I hope you learned something. Have a great day. Peace.